Yeah. So how, how does it feel to, to have won 300 games? <laughs> well, I, I kept saying I gained, I aged five years at Arkansas this last weekend and I aged another five, so I'm almost 60. <laughs> <laughs> No, we won't do the math. Yeah, not do the math. That's bad math. We're journalism students, but <laughs> yeah, we don't we, we don't yeah. do math. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, down four runs in the sixth. Did did you think that three hundred may have to wait another night? Well, you know, I wanted to see what, our, what we were made of, and uh, I did not think we had particularly good at bats early on. But I I know you can never count our offense out, and uh, and I felt like the last couple innings the team started swinging us with some real intent, and uh, and they started hitting balls hard, and things happened. Was it perfect that it was Duke as a North Carolina grad? <laughs> the old Tar Heel and me. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sure, it's, it was exciting, but I'll take. They're hard to come by. All the wins are hard to come by. So um, this one was certainly special, being that we came from behind uh, to do it. It was in exciting fashion. Yes. Uh, where does this kind of rank uh, in your mind of all-time wins for you? Like kind of with the drama, the opponent, everything like that. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't lack for any. Uh, uh, I would have been fine with 8-0, eight, eight let's be clear. <laughs> but uh, I'm just excited for our team that they that they proved that they can come from behind. And um, I just liked how we were hitting the ball at the end of the game. So for me, uh, for them to be able to see that we can come from a four-run deficit and win a ball game, I think, is important. Would you kind of say to maybe either Warren or Kumi in the, in the seventh there with the two outs and the game on the line? Well, we, they were just looking for a pitch to drive. And uh, I kind of thought they might be working around Kennedy Clark there in the last inning to get to Lauren, but uh, God, she had such a composed at bat. That was that was really big to be able to to be in that situation and not swing at some of those pitches. Um, was she was really composed. So uh, and then Kumi's just a hitter, you know. She's just a born hitter. She needed to hit something hard for us. But uh, I thought the key to that inning was Kenzie McGuire with the leadoff double. And then. Jana, I don't profess to being a baseball or softball expert. The thought of her bunting was that always the thought process there is to have that batter. Well, bunt at that point, over? we were really playing for one. You know, okay. I wanted to tie it first before we could win it, and that was the thought: is uh, get the runners, get the runners to second and third. So, um, with a, a ball, a sack fly, we could tie it, and then we could go for the win. Was the was the thought there and having our bunt? I tell you, that's one of those hard calls, coaching wise, because you've got Great a leading hitter, hitter and a slugger in that situation. Um, but with no outs, we're playing for one there. I think you can kind of talk about the team's mindset, especially with Kumiyama, how she kind of had the error in the sixth that allowed two runs to score and then came up big there on the seventh. Yeah, I think that's, um, it's just always having each other's backs. Um, you know, that was a, that was certainly a, a tough error, uh, to have, but I think the team showed that, Hey, we got your back. We're going to, we're going to fight back. And, uh, and it was nice that she could come and get the, uh, the hit for us to win the game. Okay. Thank you, Beth. It was one run and just to hit, like, just base hits. That's what we preach in the dugout. Just base hits, move runners. That's all we needed. Did you feel like getting that hit, or did you feel like when you, step, you were stepping up to the plate, do you feel like you had to kind of atone for the error there in the, in the six? No, it was just another A-B for me. I mean, we try to keep things pretty calm and collected and just slow the game down and just make it about us, and that's what led to the base hit. How important was it for you guys to get Bev the 300th win on the first chance? It was pretty good. I mean, <laughs> to be honest, like we love Coach, so for us to do that for her just meant a lot and just showed that we were behind her with everything. Warren kind of mentioned her being a UNC grad in this game against Duke. <laughs> mm -hmm. Was that kind of something that you guys brought up to like each other, or was that something that Bev kind of mentioned? Um, it's something Coach Bev kind of mentioned, but with us, it's like every team is like we play to win. And for us, you know, that just added that to the fuel a little bit. Good.